Well, well, well. What have we here? This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Apple Macintosh LC. This particular model, I believe, dates from around 1991. So we're looking at a 25 year old computer. What's the story behind this, you're wondering? Well, I was at the Goodwill in Winston-Salem this evening, and I happened to find this for sale in the computer section. This is something you really don't see very often at Goodwill. Um, computers, um, especially vintage ones. This was originally $20. But on September the 22nd, it was marked down to $10, which is what I paid for it. Now, does it work? Well, I I really can't say. Um, I plugged it up at Goodwill and tested it um, without any monitor or anything. Um, and it made some kind of a Mac bong sound. Kind of was kind of muffled, but... Presumably, that was a good sign. Um, unfortunately, I no longer own a ADB keyboard and mouse, but I do still own the Apple Display to um, VGA adapter, so we should hopefully be able to um, at least test and see if we get a video output from it tonight. And if I do, and everything seems hunky-dory, then I will go on eBay and see if I can find a cheap um, ADP, ADB keyboard and mouse to go along with this. Um, I've actually been after a um, vintage Mac of this era for a while. Although I've, I'm a little bit more interested in the all-in-one um, Macintoshes. But this will do. As a matter of fact, we had a Macintosh LC3 in my kindergarten classroom back in 1995-1996. So um, we, so I have used something like this before. It's just been 20 some odd years. I believe this is what they call the pizza box, by the way. Anyway, um, I'm going to see if I can find my VGA adapter, and we're going to hook it up to this monitor right here and see if we can get some life out of here. So, one moment, folks. Okay. <laughs> really isn't the most ideal position for this to be in. Um, but I found my adapter. There it is right there. And I've uh, applied power to it. Um, well, I haven't hit the switch yet, though. But um, now, I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm also going to be frank with you, even though my name is Billy. You see, um, I don't know much about these computers at all. <laughs> but I do know a few things. Two of them being there are a couple of um, things we're going to need to watch out for on this system that these are known to have problems with, especially um, as they've gotten older. Number one, the PRAM battery may have exploded and leaked all over the place, completely spoiling our fun. And and or we could have um, a whole bunch of capacitors that have gone wrong that will also spoil our fun. I haven't opened this up yet. I really don't feel like doing that right now. Right now I just want to see if the system actually puts out a video signal. So Let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. Smoke test. Well, that's promising. Come on, turn green. Turn green. Why you not turn green? Hmm. 
Well, it bonged. That usually means that's usually the Macintosh equivalent of um, the power on self test succeeding. But we're not getting a picture. Let me do a little bit of twiddling around with this and see if we can um, get something going here. Okay, I wasn't getting anything out of the LCD monitor here, but um, I did plug it up to my Packard Bell monitor over here, and um, looks like we're getting something. It looks like it's wanting a system disk, um, but it's all garbled up. Um, I think this is because um, this monitor um, is very, very picky about its um, video signals. But um, I will say that is a promising sign. So... I think the next thing I want to do is, well, first I want to turn that off before it blows the monitor up. <laughs> Go ahead and shut this off, but that is promising. Next thing I want to do is pop the computer open and pull that PRAM battery out because, like I said, we I hope it hasn't already exploded. It's being held on with um, packing tape. That's okay, interesting. <laughs> my plans, of course, I don't want to count my chickens before they've hatched. My plans for this, if this is fully functional and everything does not blow up in my face, this is going to be my uh, main vintage Macintosh. Well, it'll have to be my main one because it's my only one. But I'm going to give it a prominent spot out in my office, probably on the workbench. Hopefully with a compatible monitor. Probably not an Apple monitor. I'll probably still use this adapter just to make things a little bit simpler. Actually, I think I'll... Actually, I do have a CRT monitor out in the shed that... In storage, it might work with this, but we will um, worry about that when we get there. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, I was not wanting that to happen. Okay. Here's why I am not happy. The hard drive's been removed. Normally this wouldn't be a problem if if it were a PC. You see these older Macs use SCSI hard drives. And SCSI hard drives, and most of anything SCSI for that matter, are very, very expensive. <laughs> and hard to come by. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> but then again, I've never really shopped around before for SCSI drives, so we sh ho hopefully should be able to maybe work something out, I hope. But um, other than that, I'm actually looking at it right now on the main system board. Everything looks beautiful and pristine. It looks brand new almost. So yeah, I'm very impressed with the um, with um, the lay of the land here. This computer has aged very, very well. But I still want to remove that battery before it does something not so nice to this perfectly good system. Let me find my, uh, grab a flathead screwdriver here. I <sighs> wish that hard drive was still there. that around put it into flathead mode okay how does this go again uh, I think we just uh... okay go I can get new batteries here like this with no problem So replacing this will not be a big problem at all. I just got to order one, I guess, off of eBay. I will probably put this to the side right here just so um, when I order one, I'll know what to get. I'll pop this back on so we don't lose it. Well, 
maybe. Yeah, I guess that's on there. Okay. But yeah, it looks really, really good. Is that the AMD logo? Interesting. Yeah, I um, think this might be a very nice little project. It does need to be um, cleaned up um, cosmetically on the outside, but that shouldn't be a big deal at all. So yeah, I think we got a we got ourselves a fun little project on our hands. I just got to get an ADB keyboard, an ADB mouse, and unfortunately a SCSI hard drive. Oh gosh, this is not going to be fun to find. <laughs> because like I said, I under from what I understand, these are not cheap <laughs> to get a hold of. I think these. I think I read these came with like a 40, I think some came with like a 40 megabyte drive, some with a 70 megabyte. But I don't care what size I get as long as it works. So yeah, that's what we got going here so far. Looks like we got a fun little project on our hands. So until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.